be a little different. So you want to move into quadrant two. You know, it, it's fun to go to meetings when someone presents a problem and someone else steps up and actually sees it as an opportunity. That is really an environment that you want to work in. To be around people that see problems not as problems but as opportunities. In other words, how do we turn this around and actually make something good out of it? All right, You can't do that all the time. I understand that. But maybe it's a problem that somehow you learn from, and so it's not a problem the next time. That's looking at it as an opportunity. OK, let's get through this. Let's work the problem. But when it's done, let's make sure that that problem doesn't pop up again. That's being opportunity-minded. And of course, the key is you always schedule your priorities. And you do this in the context of a week. I'm going to give you an exercise here in a second that will show you how to do that. Quadrant two involves four key activities, the next holy grail, all right? You need to identify your roles in life. And I'll go through a practice exercise on this. Once you identify your roles in life, you then select the goals. That is two or three important results that you want to work on in the next week related to your roles in life. You want to schedule, that is look at the week ahead and schedule time to achieve your goals. And then you want to daily adapt. That is, you prioritize and respond to anticipated events. Today, I got interrupted. Some of the time I had planned to do something, I had to move it. I had some open space on Friday. I just took my calendar and Outlook, drug it right over, off my mind. I now have it scheduled. All right? The reason I could do that is because what I scheduled for today, which is Thursday, wasn't due Thursday. Hmm. Not I don't live in an urgency way, right? And actually, it wasn't even due on Friday. I try and actually schedule my life at least a week ahead of time because of the nature of my work. So I have time to move things around. Nothing's urgent. Next slide. So this is what you do for quadrant two, how you organize. Of course, long term, we already talked about it. You write your mission statement, identify roles, create goals. Weekly, every week, you review your mission statement. Actually, I highly recommend you read it every morning. Review your roles, review or create new goals, and you plan or schedule actions on a calendar. You need to live on a calendar. I'm sorry. Next slide. You always organize on a weekly basis. You always chunk your life in into a week, all right? So you always connect with your inner vision, what is most important to you, what gives meaning, what do you want to be in your life. And this is cool. Psychologists have found that the activities that give you the greatest feeling of self-esteem are usually the activities you are ideally suited to do as your life's work. That's why you need to probably look at those books and find out what your real strengths are. Because you want to be in harmony with your strengths and what you're doing on a daily basis, right? If there's a disconnect there, how can you ever be happy with your job? You'd be in the 50% that don't like their jobs. Because they're not connected to it. They don't understand themselves no, well enough to even know what it is they should be doing. And of course, you write your personal wishing statement. OK. This is important. I'm going to ask you to do this in a second. You need to identify your roles in life. You cannot have more than seven roles in your life. People have studied this. They've looked at it. Once you get beyond seven roles in your life, you lose control. You just don't have enough time. You, everyone has the 24 hours. Isn't this cool how this kind of works out? People have discovered it's seven roles is all you can handle. Do you think that that's probably correlated because there's only 24 hours in the day and everyone has 24 hours? If we had 48 hours, maybe it'd be 14 or something, right? But it's elegant how this actually works. And then you always have a separate role called sharpening the saw. And I'll get to this a little bit later. OK, next. OK, so why don't we take a break here. And I've got some handouts, and we're going to move on to another part of the program.